All right, I tried to explain this once already and I had the microphone in, but I don't have it in anymore. So we're just gonna have to do it like this, okay? Old school style before I had a microphone. Um, I needed to clear my storage. Okay, so we're gonna start out on the floor, plank shoulder taps. I actually have a little bit more energy now. Um, you're gonna come here, plank shoulder tap for 20. Okay, if you need to come on your knees, go on your knees, plank shoulder tap. And then you're gonna do inverted push-ups, just like this. Just like so. If you can't do that, just grab a light dumbbell, you're gonna do presses. Um, and then you're gonna do setups or crunches for 10. Circuit number two, you're gonna need one dumbbell. Actually, you're gonna need a set of dumbbells. You're gonna do alternating dumbbell snatches. If you're new here or haven't been here in a while, you may not have done these with me. You might know what they are though. Okay, so you're just gonna set the dumbbell here. You can set it facing that way, palm this way, or you can set it down this way. I like to set the palm, my palm facing back. Okay, so dumbbells this way. Okay, so you're gonna get your butt down. You're gonna come up. When you come up, you're pushing through your heels and driving your elbow up and then rotating up and moving it into a press. If it's too much, for you to think about, I'll show you. However, it um, it makes sense when you do it. All right, so you're gonna go alternate. You're gonna come one, one. Take it down, nice and easy. Switch, two, down, just like so. Up. If that's too much for you to kind of understand, or not really understand, but just like put it all together, it's just like a new moves and all these new moves. And you're confusing me, Pam. That's okay. You're gonna do an alternating dumbbell deadlift. You're gonna start with that. Start here, and you're just gonna pick it up. One, switch while you're down here. Don't do an extra squat thing here in the middle. A lot of people do that. So you're gonna go one, switch, two, switch. And just do that, okay? That's it. Don't worry about the other part. But those that can, if you do single arm snatches, alternate for 20. And then you're gonna pick up your dumbbells, a set of dumbbells. You're gonna do a quarter lateral, so it's lateral to the side, quarter of the way up. You're gonna do two of those and a shrug. A shrug taking your shoulders to your ears. So you're gonna go one, one, do we do two shrugs? No, we just do one. Two, two, all the way to 10. And then you're gonna do mountain climbers for 20. Um, after that, you're gonna do, whoo, this circuit was spicy. You're gonna do alternating arms for 10, so it's five each side. Arm presses here, palms facing you, up over your head. One, two, just like that. Okay, for 10. And then you're going to take your dumbbells and you're going to press twice up with your palms facing you, front press. One, two, and then two to the side. So it's gonna look like this. One, and then bring them here safely. Two, and this is two, all the way to five. I'm not doing any more than that, because whoo, that was hard. All right, then you're gonna do up-downs for 10. Up-downs like a burpee without the push-up at the bottom. If you can, you're gonna have your dumbbells in your hand and pull those up with you. So it looks like this. Here, kick your legs back, up, boom. That's one. For 10, if you can't do that, Set the dumbbells to your side, down, down, up, up, stand up, okay? Um, if you can kick your legs back, go ahead, but it's like a burpee without the push-up. If you can't even do that, that's okay. I'm just gonna have you do reverse lunges, okay? I know it doesn't hit exactly the same body part, but you'll be fine, okay? Um, so that's circuit number three. Circuit number four and final circuit. We went about 22 minutes, okay, because it was tough. Uh, you're going to take your dumbbells again. You're going to do short arm laterals for two, upright rows for two. Okay, so it looks like this. Short arm, that just means you take your um, dumbbells, take them to your armpit. Just looks like a chicken flying. One, two, and then you're going to take them here, start into your upright row, and you're going to go one, elbows up, two. Okay, so it looks like this. One, two, start here. One, two, okay? All the way to five. And then to keep your same dumbbells in your hand, keep your core nice and tight. You're gonna do a hammer curl. So that's just my palms facing each other here. Curl, so it's a little bit of bicep. Front press, that way, front part of your delt. Your shoulder, two. All the way to 20, set those down. If you can do pop squats, do those for 10. If not, just do jumping jacks or something with me. Pop squats, I'm not even gonna show you. But if you can do a pop squat, you know what a pop squat is. Um or just do air squats or something. That's it. That's shoulder day, week number two. Um, have a great workout. Thank you so much for being here. If this is your first shoulder day you're tuning into, welcome. They are like this or even spicier. So anyway, shoulder day, fan fave. Have a great workout.